Investigators suspect foul play was involved in the death of a local realtor. But most of the details of 40 year old Melissa Pesky's death are a mystery tonight. Kettle Land's Angela Kennedy joins us now with what she's uncovered. Melissa Pesky and her two children, five year old Axton and 11 year old Charlie, were in a car crash in Missouri sometime between Thursday night and early Friday morning. The children survived. The crash happened by Boonville, which is between Kansas City and St. Louis. I spoke with the Pesky's husband on the phone today. Ryan Pesky didn't want to do an on camera interview, but he told me investigators have informed him he is a person of interest in his wife's death. Kelloland News interviewed Melissa and Ryan Pesky four years ago about their daughter Charlie and son Axton, who were cared for at Sanford Children's. They told us how Charlie was born at just 16 weeks, weighing one pound six ounces. I mean, she's the size of a pop can. Uh, our rings actually went over her wrists. Melissa spoke to us about her miracle baby and the love she had for her family. I thank God every single day for our family. We have been through such crazy obstacles, and I think it's just brought us closer together, you know, because of it. They are amazing little miracles, and there's nothing better. But now Axton and Charlie will have the obstacle of growing up without their mother. Ryan Pesky, who was seen here in 2014 raising money for the Children's Miracle Network, is a balloonist. Pesky is also a massage therapist and a South Dakota National Guard member. Pesky told me over the phone he is a person of interest because he didn't answer the phone Friday night at 11 p.m. when authorities called him to inform him his wife of 14 years was dead. He says he was sleeping and he did answer the phone later. Pesky tells us he did not know his wife's cause of death. He tells me Melissa was on her way to North Carolina to visit friends. The couple's two children are currently in foster care in Missouri. Ryan says he will go before a judge tomorrow to ask to bring them home. The autopsy on Melissa's body is complete, and Ryan is trying to bring her body back to Sioux Falls for a funeral. We have put in several calls to Missouri authorities to ask how Melissa died and why foul play is suspected. We'll bring you more information on her death when we get it.